2023, Carrera released a brand new mold. It was the Lancia Beta Monte Carlo Turbo. It came in two liveries, as you can see here. Uh, they're both unique in the way they were produced. Uh, in fact, I think Carrera produced three molds total for this, machi for this machine. Um, as you can see, the white and Martini livery, being my favorite, has the black rims, which I think absolutely striking and really let this car stand out. Uh, the red and white livery that you see has the silver wheels, which is okay in my opinion, but not my favorite. A little bit of history about the Lancia Beta Monte Carlo. Uh, once again, this is a car that home, holds a prominent place in racing history, particularly within the fire breeding Group 5 category. As you know, this car raced against the Porsche Kramers, the BMW 325 CSLs, and the Zach Speed Turbos of that era. The car is loosely based on the road car produced in 1975, obviously loosely because the aero package on it was very significant, as was all cars in the Group 5 category. Lancia achieved notable success with the Monte Carlo Turbo, winning the World Championships in 1979 in the under 2.0 category and claiming the overall World Championship in 1980 and 81, surpassing Porsche in the process. The car's racing prowess was further highlighted by its consecutive Group 5 championships in the FIA World Championship, solidifying its legacy as an iconic racing machine. With a powerful turbocharged engine and exceptional performance, the Lancia Beta Monte Carlo left an indelible mark on the motorsport world. And with these two liveries and these two editions of the car, we can see that Carrera has continued the trend of expanding the Group 5 category of its lineup. Now, without further ado, let's go see what these cars can do trackside. 